Welcome guys to my new tutorial of iSpark, the new draw machine of Arturia. In this video we'll check out the studio view of iSpark. So if you want to change your sound, adding effects or changing the sample point or the sample position, you can go to the studio view. We have here this kick. So you, so you see in this display now a waveform. This, this, this waveform you can make it shorter or longer with the sample points, uh, sample position points. You have a lot of parameters to, for changing. Example here the pitch. Or the cutoff. You have the possibility here to change your filter type to from low pass to band pass, to change the resonance, a shock group, different layer modes. You have the velocity. Here you have random, circular, staggered, velocity, and threshold. You have layer select and we have gain and reverse. So reverse, so we, you reverse your sample. If you want to change the sound completely and replace it by another sound, you can go first to the browser and you can pick one of this factory library included sounds in the factory library. There's a lot of sounds included and you say it's not enough. You can go to the sample and you can load from other sources on your iPad. So current project, pasteboard, audio copy paste, iTunes share folder, iTunes library and what is pretty cool, you can also record your voice and make your own samples. On the top you can change the name and the type of sound, mute it and solo it. Another thing which is absolutely great, you can choose an effect or two effects to your sound. So simply go from sample to FX and you can add your favorite effects. There are 18 different effects included in the studio mode. So a delay, a phaser, and all effects are varied in detail. So you have not only two parameters, but you can change a lot of the parameters inside one effect. And what is also cool for people who doesn't want to make all this time new changes, you can also take a preset or save your favorite preset. So you can take left a phaser and right a delay. And this sounds like this. And what is also pretty cool, you can go now to the mixer view and all your sounds are now listed in the mixer view. So you can manage it, you can adjust it, you can mute it, you can solo it, you can pan it and you can also access in the mixer view to your effects. So you have your phaser and your delay in the mixer view, which is pretty nice. But what is very cool, you can go to your return or your master and you can also add there in effect. 
So here you have a, a para equalizer and you can add here also a reverb to your entire mix. So you have a lot of features in this mix and studio view in iSpark. Many thanks for watching this tutorial. See you soon in the next video.